hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So, word on the street is, y'all. And this is coming from the horse's mouth itself, y'all. This is not coming from nobody else but uh, Rich Homie Kwan, his own self. Um, the information that um, I'm speaking on right now. Rich Homie Kwan did an interview... And he said that when he started doing street pharmacy stuff, he said that, you know, it was a little rough for him because he was, you know, coming into the industry and he was, you know, low on energy and stuff like that. And he said that somebody came to him and told him they had something to keep him going. And they introduced him to street pharmacy stuff. Now, you all are not going to believe who he said introduced him to the street pharmacy stuff. He said, out of his own mouth, a family member introduced him to the street pharmacy stuff, y'all. Now, tell me if I'm tripping. But is this almost the same similar situation as enchanting what happened to her? Do you all remember back here when she was at the boyfriend house and one of her family members allegedly brought her some stuff over there and gave her the bad stuff? Well, word on the street is, y'all, his family was giving him stuff. His own family members was giving him stuff. Is this the Trojan that came up in the numbers? Remember when I did the numbers and I said Trojan? Like, he got somebody that he loved and trusted is the person who gave him the stuff. Uh, could a family member have came back and gave him something else? Ask yourself this question. Is this the same situation that happened with Enchanting? He's with his girlfriend. And then a family member give him some stuff. Now, I'm going to ask y'all this question. Did y'all hear the 911 call? Because it's everywhere. TMZ, everybody is posting a 911 call. In that 911 call, his girlfriend is on the phone with the police. Mind you. While she's on the phone with the police, there's a guy there at the house. You hear the guy in the background. Now, I don't know if this is his child or whatever, because they say he got an 18 year old son. I don't know if the son lived there. I don't know. Okay. But she claims she went and took the kids to school and she came back to the house. And that's when she called the police. Now, the thing of it is, y'all, I'm going to say this. I am going to say this. When she was on the phone, on that 911 call, if y'all haven't heard it, go check it out. It's on TMZ. When she was on that phone call, y'all, the lady on the phone told her to turn him over. And she said, help me. And I heard a man in the background talking. Now, I'm going to ask y'all this question. If you had a family member that was in distress and they were laying on the couch or whatever they were laying on and... The operator was telling you to turn him over, lay him on the floor, turn him over, whatever it was. And the girlfriend was on the phone and you got a man in the house. Wouldn't they have took the wheel and start moving as fast as they could to get him in the position that they were telling her to get him in? She's on the phone and she's trying to turn him over by herself. And she has to tell somebody that's in the room with them to help her. Listen to the listen to the call, y'all. I kid y'all not. She said, help me. So she was trying to turn him over and somebody was standing there watching her. Who the heck was that? Was that the family member? Because that could be the person who um it gave it to him in the first place. Okay, y'all? And like I said, the fact that this 11-11 came up, and we all know what that 11-11 represents. We all know what it represents. Mo3, a whole bunch of other people that passed away to this 11-11 mess and one on one mess, okay, y'all? Um, the fact that he passed away 
on 11 11 away from i'm just saying y'all young thugs next birthday i don't see that as a coincidence y'all and I would like to know who that gal was in the house that she had to stop and say, help me. Help me turn him over. Because he, her hands should have been on deck already doing whatever it is that was needed. She shouldn't have had to say, help me. He should have jumped right in and started doing what the person on the phone was telling her to do if this was going to save this man's life. And if they cared about his life. Okay, y'all? Now, I want to check something really, really quick. I want to check his network. Because this is important to check people's network these days, y'all. I'm just saying. Because, um, cha-ching, when they pass away, cha-ching. This money goes to their loved ones and the people around them. If they have kids, it goes to their kids. If they have no kids, it goes to the uh, mom and daddy now. Okay, if they're not married. 3.5 million dollars is what this man was worth that's his estimated net worth this is what they're saying and his girlfriend was in the house and another guy was in that house when she was on that phone call who was that other guy y'all i need to know seriously did some do somebody else live in that house with them like what is it really What's really going on when it comes to this situation? Something that's not adding up here, y'all. Not at all. This coincidence is, is this could not be a coincidence. Seriously. This was, sounds too much like Enchanting's passing. Over her ex boyfriend's house, doing some new music. Allegedly, her family members brought her over some pharmacy stuff. She gets some bad stuff. And she passes away. Now, everybody and their mama is probably doing collabs with her music that she had did with her manager. Everybody and their mama. Now, who was this guy even signed to? That's another thing. But I don't think this has anything to do with who he was signed to. I don't know who he was signed to, but I don't think it has anything to do with it. Unless Nate was tied to Young Thug. I'm just going to say that, y'all. Now, somebody brought this to my attention, too. I want y'all to pay attention to this because this is very important. And this is really eerie, to be honest with y'all. Because when I did that video and it said something about a female is involved or playing both sides and that Trojan. And it also said Truman, like the Truman Show, that people around him was fake. Now, if any family member hook you on some mess, that's fake in the first place. Ain't no way they care about you when you just getting your career off the ground and somebody give you some stuff like that, they don't care about you. They want to control you. They want to be a part of that money that you got coming in. So when you get that money, they can come back to you and, and, and pay for the stuff. This man admitted out his own mouth that his own family member got him hooked on street pharmacy stuff, y'all. Okay? Now, let's get back to the elephant in the room because this is important. Somebody brought this to my attention. I was like, wait a minute. What are the odds of that? Okay, after I did those numbers. Now, him and Young Thug was allegedly beefing. They were coming at his daddy's, hit up his daddy in his, you know, barbershop, all of that stuff. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that Young Thug's last name is Williams, y'all. Okay, his last name is Williams. Well, the woman that he passed away in the house with. Her last name is Williams, too, y'all. What are the odds of somebody introduces you to a woman with the same last name as your ops, y'all? Make it make sense. Somebody that you left this world beefing with. You left this world about to go to court on these same people. You are a witness. You left this world and these people came at your family, Okay? Somebody in the industry introduced you to this female. She has the same last name as Young Thug. What are the odds of that? Do y'all see that as being a coincidence? Or do y'all see that as something eerie, y'all? Because I do too. 
something ain't right about this whole situation. And I'm hoping that them feds or whoever is going to do the investigation into this. If some feds do, because due to the fact that it's street pharmacy stuff and he openly admitted to using and this and that, and that and that, they might brush it under the rug and go about their business, let the local police deal with it. But if they really want to get into some stuff and get the digging, I hope they find out if this girl, this baby mama is some kid to young thug or not. Because that's important. I hope they get the digging. Because that's weird to me. On so many levels when somebody so told me this. I said, what the heck? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. And this woman just, just comes out of nowhere and inter get introduced to him through the industry. And now he's gone. And he passes away 11... <laughs> Y'all, 11 months and 11 days away from um Young Thug's next birthday. They said follow the numbers, right, y'all? The numbers don't lie, right? Well, something is off about this whole situation. And you also have to ask yourself this question. Um, When they said Trojan and Truman, that he was taken out through somebody close to him, does that include somebody in this family too, y'all? I'm just asking a question, y'all. That's all I'm saying. This seems weird to me. Anyway, y'all like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.